welcome everybody to this special sand pile. Uh, this is an opportunity after last week, there was a fair number of questions and, and a little bit of confusion around uh, co-production and platform OS and, and uh, what's going forward. So this is an opportunity for them to clarify that. My apologies for the late start and I will fix my clock battery. So go ahead, Ab. go ahead, uh, Alex. Uh, yeah, one minute, I need to check one thing. Sorry about that. Sure. Adam, uh, it's up to you then to sing and, uh, and carry, the, carry the load here. Oh, is that why you unmuted me? That's right. <laughs> well, I've actually lost my voice uh, between all the conversations over the last week. Actually, it's starting to come back. Hey, that works twice correctly each day. Um, so I, I won't be singing, which uh, will be a good thing. All right, yeah, there you go. Uh, that looks like some acid on the end of that battery. Good, good spot. Uh, and um, I don't know, I, can anybody hear me? I've actually got a new headset and I'm not sure. I, we can, we can, that's good. Uh, Alex is going to jump in over the top of me in a second. A lot of stuff obviously been going on last week. Um, a lot of uh, master partners, as we call them, Alex and Co Production Co and the Triple Team, uh, a part of that. Lots of conversations on how we can also provide a, a, a a package that will also allow the smaller uh, partners to be able to survive and thrive with the change and be able to provide packages and pricing that makes sense. It's still a work in progress, but Alex has really been jumping in as our other partners to advocate for everybody. And I think that's what he's going to take you through once he's ready to go. Um, or did she say yes? I didn't actually ask yet. So just Okay, she's not on the call, but um, I will tell you, it'll probably be in about three months. It's a pretty epic proposal, so that's why I've got to plan it. Oh, and yes, uh, I did wear this shirt specifically. Um, you can see it's Max 2003, the year I left BC uh, and Adobe. Um, these are collector's items. They will go on auction shortly. Um, we'll have them up on a marketplace somewhere that uh, the highest bidder can take. Maybe we won't be able to sell them. But anyway, uh, Alex, how you doing, mate? Do you want me to hand over to you? Or I'm just filling time and space. Uh, so anyway, I'm good. Cool. you're good, good to go. Okay, Alex is uh, taking Thanks. the floor, guys. Hi, everyone. Uh, thanks for coming. Sorry we couldn't make it, uh, you know, at the same time as, as last time because it's uh, the time difference, so 2 a.m. would be too much. Uh, yeah, I'll just jump into it. Um, I need to share my screen. Oh. Oh. Do this. Do this is how uh, do you see my screen? Oh, yes, we do, Alex. Okay, how do I take this video somewhere? Is it? Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. Sorry, I have multiple screens, just one second. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can see this, right? Right. So we can start from here. Uh, so I would, uh, 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 let's be honest, uh, this is where I would, would want to start. Um, there are a lot of people out there who want to take it to really speculate on BC EOL and uh, both, you know, CMS owners or outsourcing providers. And we've all been witness uh, of that. Um, uh, you've seen all these announcements and all those uh, weird email blasts and all that stuff. Um, and as, uh, so I would, I would ask the community and BC partners and our clients to not make any uh, quick decisions and wait a little bit until there are uh, 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 solutions uh, available for you. 
So this is a code production reality that we're facing right now. We received 54 CMS conversion projects uh, after, within two or three days after the last PC send pile. And uh, we, I, I asked uh, our PM, one of our PMs to go in and give the minimum cost and how much it would cost, uh, would uh, cost BC partners to, for us to transfer them uh, uh, to, uh, to WordPress, to our own, even our own CMS and, and platformers if we didn't have any automation. So I asked him to give the smaller rates, just give the, 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 the most optimistic um, forecast. And that was, the websites were one, from 1,000 to 10K uh, budget. And overall, it would bring us, if we were not BC partners, uh, uh, it would bring us at least $140,000 of uh, projects. And that's a lot of work. And I see, and this is where, this is a perspective of any outsourcing provider. And this is how they see the business catalyst end of life as an opportunity for their business. And of course, there's a lot of websites that need to be hosted somewhere. So with CMS owners, it's a great opportunity as well. So, uh, but we're, uh, technically we're in, in a very uh, a good spot as, uh, uh, as developers. And because we, we don't have obligations in front of end clients and we should be you know, really happy. But the, the, uh, the issue we have is that We've been in, uh, in the BC community for nine years, and um, we uh, all together we have 280 clients, 85 clients. So these are BC partners that used our services. We excluded all other uh, clients that we have uh, that we did non BC um, work for. So this is only BC partners that are used our services in nine years. Uh, so, and I understand uh, uh, me personally, I have a lot of. Um, um, personal relationship with the end clients of our bigger uh, BC partner clients. So, and I understand that if we are not going to come up with the migration, uh, it's going to be, it, be, it may become a disaster for at least even those 285 clients that we have and for many, many other partners. And there's another challenge uh, uh, is the new sites. We, there should be a solution for the, the, the partners to create new sites and make new business. Uh, otherwise, it's an, it can turn into a disaster. So uh, I, I believe that the migration challenges are the same, uh, time, cost, and quantity, and we're pushing towards automation, and we are, we're having some really great results that I will show today. And for the adaptation, uh, we're going to make the, uh, we're going to have, we ha we're having the action panel, and we have really good progress in that part as well. Hold on one second, my team is really loud. Sorry about that. Uh, so we, first of all, I wanted to show some progress. Uh, first and great news we have is I was, I was able to advocate on behalf of uh, BC community and on behalf of my clients. They were, they really liked what Adam seen and what I showed uh, writing the platform OS plus Adam is a uh, original co-founder of business catalyst uh, and uh, Adam kindly agreed to lower the plans to 20 plus dollars which uh, really gives us a gap for pretty much uh, all the business catalyst um, websites, which is a good thing. And we continue, our, uh, our teams are working together very closely. As you probably know, I remember we're in the same time zone and they work independently, even if, if without me and Adam, they just, they know each other. They have, they're in Slack, uh, their workspace in Slack and they just communicate directly. And uh, code production work does, one, two, three, four, six projects, six platform OS projects at the moment. Two of them will have action panel. So there's a lot of work need to be done. We didn't expect that. I didn't expect the BCL. We didn't expect that. But we're moving fast in, in, in that direction. And uh, uh, we will be getting uh, accepting orders starting June 1st for bigger websites uh, with the action panel. Um, so migration engine uh, is in works as well. Um, So we will be taking the migration, um, uh, migrating bigger sites, bigger BC sites first to Business Catalyst starting June 1st. Uh, we have, uh, uh, and if, if Adam wants to add on, on, on that part, because we're going to, the next part would be uh, on different, a little different subject. So you, Adam, you want to kick in and 
comment on that? I think it's all uh, just to reiterate what Alex said. Uh, Alex and other partners in the community have uh, have made it clear how important it is to have the all-in-one solution for the, the smaller sites. And it wasn't that it wasn't technically feasible. What one of the issues was that for us was around the support and ensuring that uh, the quality of sites also in the migration happens seamlessly so that the support nightmare that could happen if that's not done properly uh, doesn't become burdensome for code production for us and for you ultimately dealing with your customers. So we've been working around a, a tiered partner approach, which will allow master partners uh, to mentor and assist uh, level two partners, level two being the non-technical, and that way there's a mentoring approach. So that's what we've been focused on. And uh, the pricing then made it same for everybody uh, on our side in terms of support. Obviously, there are other options and Alex is going to go into that and I would just want to reiterate that we support whatever platform you end up going that's best for you and your clients and whatever assistance we can provide in that. If it's not the hosting, there may be other strategic value that we can provide in working to help you in the migration around DNS, SSL and other things that we're really good at, irrespective of the, uh, the final platform, including what Alex is about to share right now. Back to you, Alex. Uh, thanks a lot. One, one sec, I have an uh, issue with my uh, presentation. Very, very quick. Um, Uh, yeah, sorry. Um, this is how I do this. You can see my screen now, right? Yeah, it's good again. Great. Uh, so we think we should offer more options, and not just the platform OS and action panel, and we're going to work in different directions. Um, and I'll show you some uh, first results. So, uh, by the way, Dave, you don't mind me showing this that we the progress on your website? Yeah, that's just fine. It's uh, I've talked to her and it's fine. So we have this website. I'm sorry, my phone. Is that right? So we have this website that uh, Dave developed for his client, for his end client, and we never saw this. It's just. Uh, uh, yeah, we've seen it first time, and uh, we we actually decided to test our extraction engine and the conversion first uh, version of our conversion engine uh, on this website. So we went to uh, Dave, and um, he gave us access to our partner uh, to his to the website, so we could uh, uh, use the extraction engine and we extracted data uh, and uh, created. Uh, that zip of JSON and hold up JSON file and all the all the FTP files, uh, and uh, where is that link over here? So I'll, I'll just so, say uh, I'll just say Alex, like like everyone else, I was interested in how the process works. So I gave you a, a this is a, a basic site. It's built on a BC Gurus template. It's not complicated, but I I wanted to see what it looked like to take my client's site and move it across rather than fuss with some of the other things so that's uh, that's how you ended up with this one and I, I thought it was a good simple example yeah and I think I asked you how much it would t cost you to migrate it to somewhere and I, I don't remember the numbers can you tell me like let's say whatever just give me any option <laughs> so yeah. somewhere between one and one million dollars <laughs> no no I mean in terms of hours you remember you told me about <laughs> yeah, yeah. As a, um, a, a site like this uh, to, to rebuild it completely on another platform would be you know 40 30, 40 hours probably. Yeah, so this is a BridgeWorks coaching website. As you can see, it's it has another URL disappeared, I don't know, for some reason. Yeah, now it's back. And now we set it up. And uh, it doesn't have everything working, but the layouts are working, it's, it's responsive. It has all the, uh, the, uh, the pages and, um, so what we did, we 
we actually migrated that to the CMS and you'll see, you see this is the my story page come on load so this is my story page here's the, the image the picture here's the text and it's all right here it's very raw but it's 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 actual it's the actual content the same so we basically did all the uh, uh, all the uh, the pages and successfully and all the code there's a lot of technical stuff that i don't really you know that all the details are the developers have it uh, we're uh we did we need a, a, a several more days to uh build the uh, to build the blog uh the actual migration so most of that that would be automated so for now it's it's not there uh and and the forms it's 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 almost done but for uh, but we have been the good thing is that we fully tested the capability, and we can say that uh, we are capable of uh, to, of cutting cost at least fifty percent off from migrating the website to the CMS. You probably want to wonder what that CMS is, and we're going to talk about that later. So, so Alex, uh, uh, just just for my clarification, so this was transferred just with the API. There was really not much in the way of hands-on work done, right? Yeah, there was a, here's the results. Um, the, this is, uh, if you're a developer, probably, okay, I just spoiled something. Uh, if you're a developer, you probably, this is a, this is from my CTO the, who built the extraction engine. So this is everything that we, uh, uh, the gray and green is everything that we're able to extract from BC. Some things you're not even able to extract with your hands. So if you want to, so basically it saves you a lot of hours on extracting things from BC. And the green ones are those things that we learn how to convert. And that where we uh, um, uh, build the conversion, uh, automatic conversion for the most part. So and the progress is in the uh, is uh, is on that website. So this is uh, the green is what I can really uh, be, I'm sure that this is something we can migrate and I can give you cost. I can give a cost associated to it that I can, uh, that, that I can promise. So basically I give you this cost and this it's a fixed cost and I will migrate it. I, I give you the delivery date. So this is, looks very promising. We, we took that at 7 PM in Ukraine, we took the file from um, the, we extracted the files from, from Dave. We, we worked weekends, uh, three of our developers and, and myself, and uh, working on this uh, to actually build the, the conversion uh, thing on it. And, and, and this is the result. So you probably wonder what CMS was, was, it was built on, it was migrated to. And this is called Umbraco, and uh, it's an open source .NET CMS. There are two options, um, and I'll, I'll, I'll share about that later. And with the, uh, with Umbraco CMS with Action Panel, I'll share about that later as well. We can pretty much cover all the business catalyst uh, websites, uh, uh, not like not now, but eventually. And it looks very promising. This is something that can we we can offer very very soon uh, as, as for production. And the thing is that we're taking different approach than we do with platform OS. We are going small like dave's website so we're going to go from small to big and with platform s and action panel we're going to go from big to small so basically we'll be able to cover everything and the uh, migration would work both for platform s and, and action panel and from Braco and action panel so this is uh i i uh, had a call with the uh, uh, um, business catalyst developers adobe business catalyst developers which to be honest are very very keen to help business catalyst community they are very responsive there are a few missing apis that we need for our extraction engine and uh, kristen l has nicely agreed to build them for us in july after they figure out some some stuff and uh, i'm really excited about it so we we uh, uh in fact we we had a very uh, great conversation back in next we spent like uh, eight hours together you know, going through things as developers with the team, asking them questions on business catalyst architecture and all that. 
So this is uh, uh, the comparison. Uh, I, I, I had a, a conversation in the afternoon with Chris Tunnell and I gave them him a demo and explained them, you know, uh, this is a, another option we want to do when I give two options to clients and he knows everything about the platform OS uh, action panel plan and we offered them on this part. So uh, first of all, Umbraco is MIT license. So you probably know what that is. Let me show you. I'm probably going to post a link. It's somewhere, yeah, somewhere here. I'll post a link. I will ask Dima post a link because this URL just doesn't work. Hey, Dima, can you uh, throw um, the uh, MIT license, link to MIT license from Graco into chat? Okay. Uh, sorry about that. Oh, Adam. Okay, thanks, Adam. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so basically, we I went through this with Kristen now and um, um, Umbraco is built, and this is a little comparison. Umbraco is built a .NET platform 4.5, and BC is pretty much the same, but it has some legacy parts. So it's some old code that comes from the from from the old days, uh, and it's um, second is uh, ASP.NET Web API MVC, which proves to be like more advanced technology. ASP.NET Web Forms is like is very uh, older technology i would say that so uh, with records os we're gonna we'll be able to do the have decentralized database and, and have website instances instances and use message scale server 2017 express edition uh there are multiple versions of the database and uh used on business catalyst and it's centralized database and website instances it's harder to update and maintain we probably we've, we witnessed all that when we were waiting changes so DNS domain management, uh, we are we will, we will be able to make it the same so that uh, there is no. Uh, so basically, you'll be able to have a partner domain dot your your domain dot dot com or your domain, and you will be able to to build the trial sites with as a subdomains of your website of your main website, and then just turn them into a live website. I'm not going to go too much details in here. We'll just we'll just move forward. Uh, uh, hosting uh, business catalyst hosted AWS, and we want to do the same thing. I'll uh, say about I'll share about that later. Uh, E-commerce through world secure systems. When we come to the point where we offer Umbraco with e-commerce, definitely we're not going to have this thing from the day one. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, flexible backup plans. Well, this is the thing that we want to do from the the day one. I'll explain why later. Number of, of backup store the ability to restore from admin so we want to make the ad the the backup there's a backup strong uh, powerful backup tool inside the action panel from the day one uh and we are going to be able to upgrade the admin by request the action panel because the action panel is going to change all the time and the good thing is that uh you have liquid tags in business catalyst and we're going to be able to repeat them in uh in Braco with additions with some great additions uh, I need uh, four developers to sit here to answer all the questions on on, on, on the technical question on this. Uh, we can make make it later, but uh, let's move forward for now. So we made a demo for Umbraco and Action Panel. So we sit down with the, we worked with Umbraco for we had two projects on it. One huge, the biggest project we ever did on, uh, uh, for a Business Catalyst partner that has a lot of AWS and I, IoT integration. So the site administration was done on it, on Umbraco, on the same AWS instance. It's a really big project. And we also did a really big, uh, like um, a lot of, uh, a website with a lot of pages and um, bandwidth uh, using Weemi template, Trefill template uh, on Umbraco because it had a lot of um, uh, features, uh, it, it requested a lot of features that BC didn't give. So we tried that, we started like a year ago. So we have a, a Braco developer. So we sit down with him and um, with one of them or two. Uh, we, we, we sit down with one of them and run through the action panel. And uh, I'm sorry, something is wrong with my browser. So we have now action panel plus some Braco CMS and we created the, um, it's a separate version and we're gonna update action panel for platform OS and for, uh, 
for Umbraco uh, as we uh, gain progress in both directions. So it's going to be rebranded the same as, as it does right now, as it does with the with, with VC. Uh, we're going to have the same feeds over here. Uh, we're going to, we have a really great idea on hosting usage and how to actually make plans. We're going to make them together with BC community, I think. So you basically will only need to um, look after bandwidth and storage. And I'll share about that later. Nice editor will be available for all the triple templates and for websites that are coming, like P, that are coming in PSD. So if we develop them from PSD, we'll be able to um, put the or sketch the design this matter. We'll be able to integrate the nice editor. For site manager, we uh, the menus would work the same. Uh, for pages, we made some additions. Um, uh, AMP isolated pages, we moved them from over here, from extras, uh, we moved them into actual um, on, on page. So you'll be able to, to uh, do it here, uh, the redirect SEO. Uh, we can um, add canonical overwrite, and there's a, from, from, from day one, and there's a lot of SEO capabilities in record that we actually can take and put. Uh, in here, uh, web forms, uh, they're going to be the same. File manager, we can do a file manager, which is a great thing. Basically, you can, you'll can you be able to create your own file structure and you can upload, this is this is a prototype, but in subfolder, you'll be able to have several, you know, zip, PDF or whatever, and you'll be able to store them. Secure zones, we'll be able to uh, do the same as, uh, they're actually um, even more capabilities, we'll be able to do in Umbraco for secure zones. System email is the same. Web apps, it's going to be the same. We're just going to, there's a, there's a, um, how do you say that? Analog, not analog. Uh, there's a web app uh, analog, is that the word? For, uh, for in, in Rocco that we can integrate in there and there you, there's much more stuff we can do with it. Uh, modules, a blog, I think blog is uh, pretty much the same and only the SEO part, would, there will be more stuff in here. Events. What else did we change? Photo galleries, I think. Everything. Alex, uh, just looking at the, the questions and such, I think people are more concerned with what the what the platform looks like, what's uh, what's Umbraco versus yeah. the triple okay, CMS great. and all the rest of that stuff. Not so much the functionality. Yeah, yeah good. Uh, so basically, uh, we had to uh, refuse from building our having our own SAS platform. Uh, because it takes time and our, our BC partners, our clients wouldn't have be able to have a solution soon. So it's a great opportunity, business opportunity, but we had to refuse that because there is a, an option that is available out there that is better and there is a better solution we can offer now. So that's why we decided to go away from cheap CMS um, uh, ambition and offer something that would be more powerful and uh, faster to integrate now. Uh, so basically, this is how it's going to work. Uh, we will uh, do store, do the hosting on multiple data centers, the Bluetooth in the beginning, USA and Australia hosting plans. And we want to define to the, define the hosting place together with, uh, with partners. So basically, it would be, should be something very flexible because you pay AWS for hosting. Uh, for bandwidth and for for uh, for, um, um, for the storage, so we're probably going to define a way that the plans would be flexible or or uh, uh, so we basically what 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 we pay a, uh, to AWS is what we actually get paid uh, from uh, from the community. So our admins would uh, uh, support the um, uh, these servers. That's why I think that the backup is the number one thing that we should incorporate in the version one. So there will be uh, secure backups, and you'll be able to, um, you know, have things backed up at least every day. Yeah. So so we have to define that, and I'll explain how we're going to do that later on. So Obraco is an open source, and uh, they have updates. So we're basically going to push updates as well. Uh, it, we're, we'll be responsible for that, and we're going to push updates and upgrades to Action Panel. Oracle opens, uh, will work with Action Panel through custom uh, RESTful API. Uh, and um, yeah, so all the new, all the sites migrated 
uh, from Business Catalyst uh, will be on top of it. And the new site, first it would be for, from Triple, and because uh, we want to give the very something very quick for partners to deliver, uh, to start making websites and start making business. So we have a great plans for Triple and some things that we can, uh, we can uh, prepare pretty quickly. Um, yeah, any questions on that part or I should go? Do you think I should answer them now or I should move forward? Uh, well, you have about, now that my clock is fixed, you have about 25 minutes. Of course, we can go longer if folks are okay. amenable to that. But So what's the plan? That's what I think they need to hear, yeah. Yeah. So the plan for us is to get early adopters. I was thinking about five Australian BC partners and five US BC partners with 50 plus BC sites and that are ready to migrate and uh, with us for 10 brochure sites. We have, res I have res reserved spot some for core production clients already. So they are in and they're, you know, they're still gonna do this with us and they really like what, they, what I showed them. So static pages should be uh, blog uh, contacts, static pages, blog contacts and web forms. So this is something that we already have a prototype for that we are sure that we're gonna migrate and we have, you know, we'll be able to give a fixed cost for that. So, uh, and what we're going to do together, so we're going to sit down, it's 10 of us, me, me and my team. We're going to first define the hosting plans and the, uh, how we're going to um, do the, uh, the infrastructure. Uh, it, uh, we will also uh, get some consulting. Uh, we will have the stand-up meetings for those 10 guys. So basically, it will be like B-weekly uh, uh, stand-up meetings. We will actually show the progress and we would ask these uh, partners to report to community. Now, I have five um, clients, uh, these code production clients that are I will have in this list, but they have zero voice in the community. They never posted or commented or liked any, uh, any post in Facebook or LinkedIn. You, you don't know their names. They're, they're just hidden um, there somewhere. And uh, those are Actually, yeah, those are our, our main clients. So they will be on board. They have more than 50, every one of them have more than 50 plus websites. So uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna um, have them there. Uh, so the way how I'm gonna get the early adopters is you just need to send me an email uh, and uh, yeah, send me the, t the list of websites you wanna transfer soon. By soon, I mean like um, within, uh, I would say 45 days. So these are 10 websites that you want to move uh, to uh, 10 brochure websites that you want to move, and that, and you're ready to be involved uh, in, in the stand-up meetings and, and, and consulting and all that. So please send me send me the uh, going to your partner uh, site, or you know let's start the conversation. So I will pick uh, the, uh, the the partners we're going to work with, and we're just going to start from there. Uh, so there are a lot of, uh, sorry, uh, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Here's a question, sorry. I'm almost done, I will finish first. Uh, so uh, there are a lot of expenses on code production behalf right now, a lot in the last uh, two and a half weeks. And uh, the, exp the first expenses we're gonna have extra would be the hosting on two data centers, US and most likely Australia. Uh, there are a lot of developing expenses that are expecting us as well uh, to move this forward. So we think uh, we're gonna have an early access uh, available, uh, hopefully this week, and this will be a 400 website. And uh, we're gonna figure this out and um, we're gonna get your feedback on this, ask your question, uh, uh, answer your questions, and then, uh, see how we're gonna uh, move this and how we will be able to distribute the lots and lots of uh, expenses uh, that this requires. Uh, yeah, so there's another thing uh, that we didn't cover and I'm gonna cover that today. We're hopefully gonna have another of this BC Sand Pile meeting or I don't know how we're gonna do this. The new sites, it's, you know, we need to produce the new sites and I've seen those posts and comments on Facebook. We have a solution with a tripo that we are working on to get you, uh, to give you a opportunity to um, deliver websites, at least the brochure websites, with maybe a little some some extensions for a fixed price for for fixed prices 
that would be under $1,000 using Tripo, using demo sites. So we will extend the demo sites, uh, customization tools. And uh, I'll talk about that later, maybe some, sometime next time. So I'm done. Questions, please. Alex, some of the some of the biggest questions seem to be uh, can once things are up and operating as as the end result, say that's six months from now, I don't know what the date is, but will partners be able to build their own sites on the platform? Um, or, do, or is it something that you have to build for them? That's one of the questions. No, that's the thing. Uh, that's what I like about uh, this solution is that we can actually give, uh, we can have the liquid tags and we can actually have the enhanced version. And that's a lot of room for web for developers. Uh, we will still have the web app um, uh, engine and we need to figure out that part, how we're gonna present that to, um, you know, what, 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 what what exactly you'll be able to do we need to figure out some parts because uh yeah basically i would want that's why i want the early adopters to you know so to, to, for some of, them, some of them to have developers so we can discuss that part and uh yeah so maybe maybe the question is this yeah uh, just quickly this the early adopter part is to figure some of this stuff out uh, and do you have an idea how long that early adopter thing runs and say it's six months i i'm not i don't want to put words in your mouth but at at the point where you've got this figured out, people want to know if they if I can just build a build a site like I always did and push it up to the platform, or does it need to be built by you? I think that's the question, Alex. I got it. Uh, no, I I I wouldn't uh, make it exclusive that you have to uh, only make it through us. Definitely, it's 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 not it's not what we're, we're looking on. So. Um, um, Okay. And again, there's lots of questions about this, this initial group of people. They're, they're concerned that it, does this only apply to partners that have 50 plus sites? I, I think I can answer that even just from listening. It's, this, is to, this is to figure some stuff out. And then once it's yeah. figured out, then it rolls out to all partners, not just partners with 50 sites, right? Exactly. Well, the, the, the reason I want partners with 50 plus websites is because they have you know, websites from of different sizes. And if, if we answer, if we give, if we together with them, if I'm together with them, find out a solution for them and they see the progress, I would prefer them to report the community the progress and, uh, you know, and, and, and basically help us understand what, what really average VC partner and below average VC partner. Right. Needs. So, so once, so once it's figured out, then it rolls out to anybody who wants it, not just people with, 50 sites or 20 sites oh, or no, whatever. No, 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 no. This is for early adopters to figure out things and, you know, to, on the hosting and all that. We don't have a lot of time and we need to move fast. And our goal is uh, the, for the disaster not to happen. So I, to, to give a solution where we have automation and we have the action. Oh, no, 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 it's not the different slide. It's right here. We want to fix, I want to fix this. I want to give automation so we avoid time, cost, and quantity. And I want to give the action panel to uh, avoid any learning curves or any adaptation, both from the end client and from the um, from the, the, the BC partner site. That's my goal. So that's why I think uh, I'm not able to figure out all the needs of BC partners. I have a solution. It looks promising. My, my, my uh, developers tested that. I paid for that. And it, it, it looks great, but I need help from, uh, from, from, from BC community, from partners that potentially will use that. So, so they would help us to figure out and um, help us to plan and build a strategy around it as well. And do you have some goals or estimates for, for what the costs look like? I, the, yeah, the well, we thought of uh, having the, for early adopters, uh, we thought of for early access, we thought of having like, five hundred dollars uh per site so the website would have any static page uh, any static static pages uh blogs so including the uh the export and migration of the blog posts uh i think web forms and fun web forms dynamic menu that you can actually um, uh, manipulate what else huh add potatoes content holders. content holders what else I'm talking with the guys who actually build those things. So,
Короче, ста, э, э, старые версии контент-холдеров и новые версии контент-холдеров. Yeah, and uh, Vlad says that there are, uh, there are old ways how you uh, created content holders and the new way. Uh, so he developed a trick where we actually can pull all, both old content holders and all new content holders and integrate them to, uh, and migrate them, migrate them to uh, the content holders on, the, on this system. Okay, so, so this what... is the pricing I have for now. And if we, uh, uh, we want to uh, sell, I uh, probably it's going to be limited to uh, like 100 websites. So, and on one part, we'll, we'll be able to promise that we're going to deliver those 100 websites because our tool looks promising. And uh, I think it, it would be definitely before June 1st. So that's, those 100 websites would be transferred definitely before June 1st. Uh, but we're going to try to hit it earlier. So we didn't launch that on our website yet. Uh, really wanted to hear your feedback. Really wanted to contact with these guys first. And so, you know, so you're gonna can, you're, you're yeah. gonna take you're gonna take those partners. You're gonna move whatever sites you can you can gather with them. Have that all done by June first, and then at June first, now you'll have enough critical mass and enough information to be able to come back to the community and say, okay, this is what it looks like. This is how much it costs, and this is how you're gonna get it done. Is that fair to say? Uh, yeah, but I, I actually, to be honest, I thought we're not going to limit those hundred sites uh, to uh, only those selected ones, but probably maybe give it to uh, to everyone. I, I'm not sure we need to figure out this part, but I definitely know that at this point, in order to move forward, I need to share the, I need to stop paying that myself for now and start to get some funding for this and uh, yeah, and, and, and get things rolling. Well, the good thing for me is that we have a proven a proof of concept. So this thing works, and I can uh, really sign, you know, agree that hey, I'm I'm able to take these websites for like say 500 websites, and I'm able to migrate them, and I'm able to uh, to to promise them delivery, and that on on the cost. Okay, so for for today, what you got is a proof of concept. You're you're quite uh, positive that. Things are going to progress along the way you, you hope them to. You're looking for some early adopters to, to help you figure out some, some details. And then sometime in June-ish, uh, you should be able to come back to the community with a, with a migration strategy, with, with fixed costs, with understood delivery dates, with what you can move, what you can't move, that, that kind of finality. Is that fair? Yeah, the only thing I would add is that, as you've seen the, the demo that, with your site that we did, uh, uh, in pretty much a short term, we didn't manually, you know, convert things. We basically built the converter, and then on top of it, we put your website. So the thing, uh, so uh, we built the the conversion for this. We built that, but you've seen that I showed you that not in the action panel. I showed you that on uh, on Braco's uh, admin. So what we need to do right now, is we need to do the conversion on the action panel. And so and that would have the uh, so that's the that's the biggest challenge. It's the next challenge that will uh, that would uh, uh, have a lot of that would require a lot of uh, uh, effort on our end, and will be two developers working on it for about a month to make to to make this work seamlessly. But I can the good thing is that they tell me they got they are they made enough research to sign up that this is going to work for sure so i can go and promise clients that we're going to deliver for a fixed cost for a fixed time frame that's the full picture how it is on our on, on my end so i'll try to figure out maybe with, with bc partners how to move, move next there are some questions about the migration strategy now so say i move some of my sites over to over to this environment uh, if they grow or move beyond this environment i need to move them to to be on platform OS, which is separate. What does that migration strategy look like? Yeah, that's a good question. I didn't, I missed that in this presentation. Uh, we'll st we're still gonna do the migration. Uh, we're still working on migration to platform OS and action panel. So there will be, for a fee, there will be a way of upgrading or moving to platform OS plus action panel. So you will have that choice. And it will be, a, of course, the fixed cost because most of it would be automated and uh, yeah, we'll try to keep it low. Okay. So, I mean, then certainly partners could move directly to platform OS. That's, that's a separate thing. I know Adam has a couple of sessions this week for Q and A just on platform OS. So those yeah. that are interested in that 
can can go directly there. This is not a requirement to go to platform OS. This is just a, yeah. a solution for the for the gap there, if you will. Sort of, sort of. Yeah, if you, yeah, you decide. Yeah. Well, the thing is that with Embraco and uh, um, Plus Action Panel, we can offer things now. So we're a little uh, uh, we're a little faster with it because we have expertise and we have built we have developers that worked on it and. Uh, and their way to build a work conversion engine, um, you know, they started like last sometime last week and they did a great progress. So this is something I can offer pretty fast. And I think this is vital right now for, for the community. Now, Adam, if you're, uh, if you're still available, I think some of the confusion is understanding how this fits in with platform OS. And to me, platform OS is the, is, uh, is, is a, a hosting platform, a hosting service. That's maybe not, as 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 fair a thing as I could say, uh, this what uh, Alex is presenting is a way to move from BC onto something, and the, uh, people could also move directly onto platform OS. They're they're separate things. I think that's what the confusion. Yeah, is. that yeah, I think so. And um, well, Alex pointed out at the start that the the team are working on a direct uh, build, migration and build onto platform OS. And you're right, we are a content management system that's more developer focused rather than, so for example, uh, with Treeple and the nice editor, that would sit over the top of our platform if people are building on top. Uh, but what Alex wanted to do was provide different options and choices for the community. And so he say, hey, we're doing this stuff with platform OS. And uh, I mean, we've, as he mentioned, is six or so, projects that they're already building directly on our platform from scratch, not migration. In parallel, they're building the migration tools uh, to move out of BC into platform OS, into WordPress, into the Umbruco uh, open source CMS that they're now building on top of. So I think that should clarify. We are in the, the main part of this presentation, it was around how uh, the, the code production team uh, building out a, an alternative so that partners can choose which solution to work on and uh, to, to bring together a quorum of partners who want to be involved in that to help the, the ongoing development. So yeah, we're, we're just another engine that code production code can push to. Yeah, I mean, I could, oh, okay. I, I could, I could build Dave's platform and, and put it on top of platform OS or, or you know, yeah. uh, you could build Bob's platform or whatever you want. This this uh, solution that co-production is built is just is just something that's trying to make it simpler for BC partners to to work with something that they're quasi familiar with that they kind of understand, and it sits on top of platform OS. Um, exactly. Yes, but, but and and in this scenario, on top of Umbraco which is separate from us. So we have nothing exactly. to do with them. So we, we're nothing where uh, we would be a competitor, if you like, to Umbraco. Um, <laughs> but at the same time, uh, we don't mind because it's what is going to give everybody in the community a solution to migrate quickly and uh, effectively. Uh, I would point, I would add a little bit. Uh, well, we decided we want to move with Umbraco and um, um, plus action panel from the low end too high end and platform OS is so powerful you can build your own CMS on it and basically action panel is its own CMS on top of platform OS that's that's what it's not just an admin panel there's a lot of implementation a lot of stuff that, that needs to be done and the projects that we do on, on platform OS right now they're big there's a bigger client bigger projects with the, you know bigger demand so uh, yeah but we want to make the adaptation part Mm, easy so so you would have the same panel both on the smaller websites and on the on the platform os or bigger websites so if you have bigger websites right now that you want to that you're about to pitch and that's platform os and action panel or not on or just platform OS with any other developer that that is available to if you want to have a smaller to middle website and you need to launch soon i think uh you know we would offer Embraco plus action panel. The, another good thing to mention is Triple as a template platform, we will have basically two options in the future. You would go with Platform OS or you would go with Embraco. And most likely the vision I had for, for platform OS 
in the beginning, the vision that I explained to, uh, that we discussed with Adam in, in Poland in February, is I wanted to build, um, and I still want to build a template platform for enterprises. So with, for marketplaces, for building bigger websites, you, you know, so that would, that, and I was, I still have that vision. And the current, uh, we have triple, we have a lot of um, templates and we want to offer uh, PC partners to build a smaller and, and a middle website with triple because we made that platform independent starting summer. So we will port this very soon to Umbraco CMS uh, with Action Panel. So you'll be able to um, create new websites and we're gonna have the fixed cost, you know, I, again, like I, I'm, I'm, I'll do, we'll do my best to have it under $1,000 for, 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 for small to middle websites that, that, that you would end up with us. So Dima said that there are a whole bunch of questions that I should I have followed his questions from his uh, list or okay i'm um, chat a different chat please i need to stop sharing right um so uh is this restrict my understanding agency to what is this i can make personal noise there's another just that it is there are guys who content and counted and this I understand that. Ristic is speaking when can we get access to the platform and build a website on it? Okay. That's a question I need to check with developers first. That's a question from Barbara. That developer is more than the developer is not with the Tishtiki. No website. Sami does not. Connection to me. So we просто будем просто hosting. Да, они хотят типа веба подавать, сравнить с людьми. А, то есть, когда вот эту часть мы сделаем, мы сможем им давать. Я понял. И по форму мы сейчас начинаем с, с как же понял, чисто по брака. То есть мы можем, они могут создавать э, бабаты, правильно? Бабаб движок будет такой же, все. Oh, okay. So this is what my developers tell me is that when we finish this part, um, Barbara, where is my? Um, sorry. Uh, can you see my screen? Oh, you can't see my screen. Hold on one second. This is my do. А когда мы сделаем, Бог его знает, правильно? Uh, um, so when we finish this part, this part right over here, and that's our next step, uh, that's when you're going to be able to use Umbraco plus action panel the same way you use the BC. You'll have more advanced uh, web app engine. You'll be able to use liquid tags with some more options. Uh, so yeah, you can basically build um, the websites like like you used to be. Can I say that they they'll be able to build websites like they used to be in this catalog? Is that right? Will there be restrictions for developers? Я могу сказать, что они также будут строить как без того, чтобы ну. I need to check this question with developers because они смогут точно так же все делать. Давайте бабцы, как вот девелоперы сейчас делают, правильно? So Alex, we're almost out of time here. So maybe there's there's a lot of questions there. I can send yeah. you the chat, um, and and you can maybe answer them in a in an email out to folks, uh, or if necessary, we can schedule another one. Okay, Barbara. Yes, we'll be able to do the same stuff. We'll have the access to layouts. You'll have access to everything that you had with BC. We're basically going to make it as close as possible. Um, I don't know. Should we just end and? Um, figure out the way how, how maybe yeah I don't know so we just end and you're gonna send the questions and we figure it out yeah I'll, I'll, I'll send you the chat transcript if you want to pull the questions out of there you'll see a lot of them are related or similar there's probably a half dozen in there in my opinion uh, so if you uh, maybe I'll commit to this if you want to answer those questions I'll put a PDF on the meeting notes for the sample 
Uh, yeah, I'd then, love to somewhat, somehow answer that, yeah. Yeah, and then if you feel it's necessary, you can contact me and I'll, I'll schedule another regular sample uh, to go over some more. It's, it's, I got I mean, I'll say what the folks are saying. It's a little confusing still. It's a little frustrating from my conversations with you last week. I know there's a lot of things in progress and you're trying to share as much as possible as soon as possible. Um, and that maybe that's part causing part of the confusion, but I mean, people want to know people are, are looking for a way forward. So I personally appreciate, you know, what you're, what you're trying to do here, but it, it's, sure. It's got its, uh, yeah, it's got its sure. issues too, because because you don't necessarily have everything defined, right? Um, well, a lot of things defined. Well, we were we have a great success. And, yeah, yeah, no, it, you've got lots of progress and lots of things defined, but there are some things that need to be figured out, and that's why sure. this this captive group of of developers and 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 early adopters and stuff, because you need to answer some final things, right? Yeah, sure. Well, hey, I'm super flexible. Things may change. You know, it's it. it you know, it, it's because times like this, it's uh, too much stress. So I'm not really uh, didn't. I can't make things perfect. So mm -hmm. we, we just do best we can to offer a solution. We are very very pushed by our clients. We have clients that pushing us, and we are feel real responsible to offer them the best solution. So this is our main challenge. And it appears that the the, um, the solution we offer to code production clients will may be uh, a good use for many BC partners as well. That's why we're presenting this. Yeah, yeah, I see. I'm encouraged by what I see. Uh, I guess all I'm really expressing is that you know things aren't necessarily perfect yet. Um, you're you're presenting as as the successes as early as possible, so people have. Uh, belief and understanding that there is there is a, a way forward. There's a there's a there's a path to go, and they just have to be maybe patient a little bit longer while some final details are worked out. Right? Yeah. I hope we will come up with uh, those early adopters, and I would can, you know, I would maybe come create a presentation with them, and we figure out all the core questions and create a presentation together, and uh, you know, uh, come up with a solution more. Not, not not just me and my team, but maybe our clients would sign up for that too. Yeah, to fair enough. Okay, thanks a lot. Um, okay, I'll, I'll post the recording uh, on the, the meeting notes for the sample. I'll send you the chat, Alex, and if you can kind of maybe distill it down to the six or eight questions that I believe are in there, uh, I'm happy to put a PDF on the meeting notes as well uh, or even send it out as a as a a sample uh, email if necessary but uh, the whole the whole intent here is to, is to get this information out as soon as possible so people can make a decision right yep cool cool thanks very much thanks very much bye everyone thank you